What's going on you guys, xw 6 here with a tutorial video for you for by far the best recording software out there. This is the Xtory. I found out about the Xtory a couple of days ago and I really want to give it a try and uh, this is actually by far the best recording software, even better than Fraps because uh, before I used Fraps but it only sucks. And uh, let me show you why, because uh, DX Story is great. So let's go to you, the target here. You don't want to mess with this because it will show you the actual path of uh, the game where your game is installed and all of that. And uh, now let's move to the overlay. I um, I have those settings and I change the colors because I am um, I really like. <laughs> or I got used to the colors of fraps but uh, this is just a preference thing you can change them when you want now uh, moving to you, the folder here you will add the folder in which uh, your videos will be created and here you have the star stop movie capture of hotkey uh, I have it on F12 because on F9 I have the fraps but I but don't use the fraps that much anymore because uh, the XOR is even better than it. Now uh, moving to movie, the movie settings. Here you have uh, different codecs that you can choose and uh, I'm going to explain right now why to choose the Lagarith Looseless codec. Um, the default one is the DX Story video codec, and uh, don't worry about all of those codecs. I have them installed from a package, and don't worry if you don't have them. But Logarith, you should have it because uh, it installs uh, at the time you install DX Story. So, um, DX Story video codec, the default one, isn't that good because if you don't have a very very good hard drive that has a uh, big writing speed then uh, the X story uh, video codec is not good for you because when you record the gameplay the frame rate won't drop but uh, when you play back the video um, after you record it will be very very laggy and uh, this is because uh, of your of the writing speed of the hard drive now I found about this codec the H264 codec which is a pretty good one it's a pretty good codec but it has a big disadvantage this codec is not supported by editing softwares like Sony Vegas Pro 9, Pro 10 and Adobe After Effects and that is a huge bummer if you want to edit your videos but uh, if you're using uh, very simple programs like uh, Windows Live Movie Maker then it shouldn't be a problem for you because uh, this is a good codec it creates uh, um, small size files and uh, you shouldn't have any problem with it but I'm using the Lagarith Lucas codec because the quality of the video and the file is uh, the same like uh, this one the H.264 but uh, this one has a big advantage that I can uh, import my videos into editing softwares like Sony Vegas and Adobe After Effects and uh, Adobe Premiere Pro so I'm using this one and I uh, really r recommend you using this one and uh, at the configuration if you have a multi-core processor you should have this marked but if you have a single core one uh, you should have it uh, enabled and uh, the mode I chose this mode and not uh, the default red green blue one because um, this one uh, has the same quality like uh, the RGB but it creates a smaller file size uh, I have the frame rate to 60 frames per second the file format to AVI and uh, if you're playing the games in a certain resolution like Full HD but you want the videos to be in, in another resolution you can uh, use this scaling thingy because uh, you can press on size and set the output of uh, your video's resolution and uh, this is actually a cool feature for those that uh, don't want to edit their videos anymore now moving to the audio tab here you can set the sound of the game and uh, the microphone on different channels and uh, 
if you import the video into an editing software you can see there two different channels so if you think the um the sound from the game uh, is too high you can lower it down in up uh, in your editing software so it shouldn't be that hard but uh, this is a cool software uh this is a cool feature as well in this software and uh you can do screenshots with it like in fraps it's uh, not a problem i have all of those advanced settings disabled and uh all of those uh, disabled as well and i don't have check update because I'm not going to tell you how I got my copy of the program but you pretty much should figure it out by the time and uh, yeah this is uh, the Xtorium as I told you much much better than Fred's because it doesn't lower the frame rate uh, of the game when you are actually playing it and uh, it has a very high quality in uh, the video resolution and that is pretty much what I had to say about this program. It's a terrific program and uh, I hope you'll use those settings and uh, use uh, this program instead of Raz because uh, as I told you it's much better. So I hope you'll have a great day and uh, see you next time. And by the way I'm going to post a Battlefield 3 gameplay this evening so be sure to check it out. And yeah see you all later.